All right, now this question says that the average daily high temperature of Montreal in degrees Fahrenheit for each of the, th uh, for each of the months of the year is shown in the table below. And then January is going to be month one, February month two, and so on. And so here's our data. Okay, I'll come back to this in just a second. And the question, or sorry, then it says here that this information can be modeled using a sinusoidal regression uh, function in the form, and then we're given the formula right here, y equals a sine of bx plus c plus d. The question is, the value of d to the nearest hundredth is. Okay, well what we need to do here is we need to take this information and plug it into our calculator, okay? And so here's, here's the calculator, and I'll, I'll move it around here when we get to that point here. First of all, we're gonna enter in, uh, or sorry, we're gonna have the calculator perform a sinusoidal regression. We really need to be in radian mode when we do that, okay? So I am in radian mode, good, so I'm gonna quick come back here. Now what I'm gonna do is press my stat button because I have to enter this information, is and this, this really is a statistical calculation, and we'll press enter on edit, and that opens up our two lists here. So list one's gonna be month, list two's gonna be average daily temperature. Now, I'm gonna take a quick look here. I'm going down to 12 months, which makes sense. So this will be one, enter, two, enter, three, enter, four, enter, and so on, until we've got the 12 months in. Now we come across here, we're gonna to start to enter in the temperatures. So 22, 25, 36, 52, 66, 75. Okay, now that's that information. And then we'll come over here. Uh, 80, 77, 67, 51, 41, and then 28. So all the data is in there. Now we do wanna make sure that that's all in there correctly because nine times out of 10 when, when a mistake happens, it's usually not because students are doing this wrong, okay? It's usually because, uh, let's say you're not doing the procedure wrong, it's usually because at some point here you've accidentally entered in something in, uh, incorrectly and it throws stuff off here. But this is all looking pretty good. Uh, let's just go to the top there, 22, yeah. So I'm gonna quit out of there and we're gonna get the calculator to do the regression here. Now again, to get the calculator to do the regression, we're gonna press stat, okay? Because this is a statistical calculation. We're gonna go over to the calc. And then we're going to go down until we find the sinusoidal regression, which is down here at, at option C. So sinusoidal regression. I just got to make sure that the calculator is looking at list one and list two. And I'll go down to calculate. Give it a second. And there we go. And so now we get here that our D value, which is what we're looking for, is 50.77. We look at our options here. And there it is. 50.77. That's the one we're looking for.